Got the power off the inverter and we'll go ahead and make our hookups. Oops, ground. And the neutral. And then I will replace the little plastic cap because because this is 120 volts now when the power is on to it. I'll figure out where I'm gonna run the power cord. I'm gonna use these cable clamps I made last time when installing the inverter to get my wire out of harm's way and so it won't pull on these plugs while we're traveling. I have my box mounted. One screw I'm gonna finish putting some more screws in there. And then remember I made a short screw and we left the long one. The, the short screw is going to have to go on the bottom. all tight. I got one more cable clamp here. Keep it anchored. All right guys let's see what we can do with this. I got the 50 amp dog bone down to a 30 amp and about a 10 foot cord. Whatever I was thinking I'll move that. And then uh, we'll turn the power on the inverter. Here's the cord. Turn it shut. The remote switch I haven't run yet. I heard a beeping noise in there. Yeah. The trailer's powered by the inverter right now. Let's go check it out. Got 12.4 on the inverter or on the batteries. See what we have going in here. Well, yeah, we know the lights work. Put the microwave. Wow, I'm impressed. You're impressed. <laughs> How many times do I have to do this before you're not impressed? I don't know. Oh, all right. It's cool. It is. We got coffee in the morning. Yay!